uh, eastern red cedar, the uh, the plants come as separate male and female. So these blue berry-like cones are only found on the female or pistillus uh, tree. The pollen is produced on a separate tree, and so it's all or nothing as far as these cones are concerned. The cones are only going to be on the pistillus, the female of the species. This female is also going to have someone living on it. Well, a wasp, right there. A wasp okay. There's also a butterfly called the juniper hair streak that lays just on this plant. Um, it's technically not a cedar. It's called cedar, but it's really a juniper. It's juniperus virginiana. And juniper is actually the word where the alcoholic drink gin comes from. Gin is actually from juniper, and gin is made from the berries of a different cedar, a different juniper, <laughs> juniper communis. But it's the same thing. It's these cones that are fermented to make gin in a, in a related juniper. Now, Jim, is it loaded because it's, uh, there's more stress in this particular location? I don't know. It's... Uh Part of it is that, you know, it, it's out in the open and uh, the, the, where it can get pollen on the wind, this is a wind pollinated plant like all, most of these trees around here. And so the pollen has to blow from one of those males and land here. So uh, maybe being out here in the open where you can catch all the breezes is, a, is an advantage. It's a disadvantage, of course, because when you're out here in the open, you've got sun on you all day long, and so that means you're losing water faster. But this one obviously has found a real crack <laughs> in the soil there. I don't know, you know, where its roots are, but they're down in there somewhere. It has really, really managed to hang on through some very difficult years. Whereas this one here... All twisted. This one here, Jim, obviously has succumbed to the... That one uh, had a, made a nice try, hung on for a good many years, but eventually it got too dry for the soil that was there, and that was the end of it. It looks cool. That's again a water oak. That's well, there's, there are two plants in here. This is oak here, with the, what's left of the acorn, yeah. the caps of the acorn. Well, I think this is a red cedar. I'm not used to identifying them when they're dead, but uh, I think it's... But that, that's an oak. This is the water oak. Yeah. And it's, it's planning to take over where the pine used to be. They're still struggling here, but this water oak has plans. <laughs> has plans uh, on that pine. And then this would be a male uh, cedar, correct, it Jim? It looks like it. With no berries. No. No, no uh, berries, no cones, and uh, the male cones, you know, once they shed the pollen, just drop off, and so you can't really see them. But the absence of, uh, well, here's what's left of the male cone. They're starting to fall off, but these little brown things are, are the male cones where the pollen is produced. Very different, and see they fall right off once they've, once they've done their function, so it wants to come right off into my hand. So, so these are the male cones. So, it's one or the other.